My name is Blake Elson, and I'm a financial analyst intern here at Top Shelf Models. And today we're going to be covering the XIRR function in Excel. What exactly is XIRR, how to use it, and then going through a quick example use case. And today I'll be utilizing the Top Shelf Hotel Development Model to demonstrate the ins and outs of XIRR. So let's get started by quickly going over what XIRR is. The XIRR function in Excel is a function that calculates the internal rate of return, commonly referred to as IRR, for a series of cash flows that are in irregular intervals. Now, as a refresher, IRR is the annualized discount rate that sets the present value of a series of cash flows equal to zero. So the main difference between IRR and XIRR is that IRR assumes that the cash flows are annual versus XIRR you can have quarterly, monthly, or even daily cash flows. Now, if I go into Excel and type in XIRR here, you can see that I have some parameters to satisfy before Excel will calculate anything for me. So this first parameter is values and it's required, and it is the series of cash flows that you want to calculate the IRR for. Next, you have dates, which is also a required parameter, and these are the corresponding dates of each cash flow that you're trying to value. Finally, you have guess, and guess is the optional parameter in this function. And typically it's not needed unless the calculation results in a severely negative number, in which case you may need to change the guess from zero to negative 10%. If the IRR results in a 0%, you should double check the guess to make sure it is calculating correctly and not returning 0% as an error. Now, one thing that you want to make sure you're doing when using the XRR function is making sure that your cash flows and dates line up exactly in the columns. So if you enter your cash flows starting in column A, you need to enter your dates starting in column A. And if your cash flows end in column Z, you need to end your dates in column Z. Otherwise, Excel will result in a calculation error. So let's move on and look at XIR in action in our hotel development model. So you can see right here that we have our revenue top line and we're going down and calculating the total unlevered cash flow. Now, what this means is that these cash flows are not taking into account the financing that we took on for this project. So when we calculate the IRR here, we're calculating the IRR of the entire project. Now, we want to calculate our IRR to determine what type of return we need on this project to get the present value of this project to zero so we break even. And you can see that we calculated our IRR here, here using the XIRR formula, and we have 15.6%. And you can see in the blue highlighted, we have our unlevered cash flows, and in the red highlighted, we have our dates. And these line up exactly in each column, and they continue to line up if I were to scroll all the way to the end of this sheet. Now, Let's, let's see what XIRR would look like, or IRR would look like if we calculated it using the traditional IRR formula. You can see we have our same cash flows right here, but we have a much different value. Our IRR is at 1.2 versus 15.6, and this comes down to the timing assumption that Excel has. When you use the traditional IRR formula, Excel is assuming that these cash flows are annual versus in the XIRR function, we know that they are monthly because we have input the date into Excel. Now, scrolling down, you can see that we also have our levered IRR. And by levered, we mean that these are the cash flows after the business has met all of its financial obligations. The IRR here is much higher than the unlevered IRR. We can see 27.9% versus 15.6%. And that's because these investors are taking on more risk and they need to be compensated accordingly. Now, if we were to calculate IRR here as well, we would also get a severely lower number than the levered XIRR. So that is how you use the XIRR function in Excel to guarantee an accurate IRR calculation, no matter the time period between your cash flows. You can have quarterly, monthly, daily, and XIRR will also work with annual cash flows. So overall, XIRR is the more efficient and precise function. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.